Where are Ethan and Ingrid today? Well, we're not going in an airplane. We are driving. This is the Boston, Massachusetts area, which no matter what time of day you drive around here, it's very congested. We are working our way to Cape Cod, where we are searching for a long tail Jaeger. Welcome to the week 34 update of Ingrid and Ethan's 2024 big year. Cape Cod is a hook-shaped peninsula extending from the easternmost point of southern Massachusetts into the Atlantic Ocean. Race Point lies at the very tip of the peninsula, where the water is deep and teeming with fish, drawing pelagic birds usually only seen farther out to sea, close to shore. We have been on a number of pelagic offshore birding trips over the course of our big year and have been very successful with them. However, one bird that has escaped us is the long-tailed Jaeger. A Jaeger is a gull-like bird with a ravenous appetite. Aggressive and agile, Jaegers will harass the dickens out of terns and gulls in an effort to steal their food. There are three species of Jaegers seen in the lower 48. The larger, palmarine, and parasitic Jaegers, which we saw off the coasts of Maine and North Carolina earlier in the summer, and the smaller and less common long-tailed Jaeger. Thus, we began our search of this very expansive beach, which wraps itself around the tip of the Cape at Herring Cove. Fortunately, it did not take very long before we spotted a pair of Jaegers harassing a common tern. Unfortunately, with the sun setting over the ocean, the lighting was not in our favor. Even with two powerful spotting scopes on them, we struggled to identify which species of Jaeger we were looking at. Here is where technology stepped in to help. Back in mid-July, we were in southern Florida, trekking back and forth from Naples to Miami several times along legendary Alligator Alley. As one would expect, it was hot and humid and we dodged evening thunderstorms each day. On the first day, when we spotted a pair of rose-ringed parakeets, Ethan raised his camera and pressed the focus button as he had done countless times this year. But this time, his camera didn't focus. He pressed the shutter button and again, nothing happened. What's the matter with that thing? He managed to get Bertha working again overnight, but it failed again and again over the course of the next few days. The heat and moisture overwhelmed the sensors and by the time we boarded our flight back to the we had stopped using Bertha. The heat was too much for it. Within 24 hours of leaving Florida, the camera dried out and began to function as normal. Our recent trip to Arizona caused another relapse, and a little research showed us other photographers experiencing failures in Panama, the Caribbean, and Mordor. Fortunately for us, and unfortunately for our checking account, we were at the Southeast Arizona Birding Festival, and there was a multi-day expo with vendors peddling birding gear. Ethan had been reading about Olympus's OM-1 Mark II, a digital camera which does not use a mirror to present an image to the photographer's viewfinder. With few moving parts and advanced sensors, it is lighter and more durable. Coupled with target finder technology, it can actually find the bird and focus on the eye. The Olympus vendor let us borrow an OM Mark II for a couple days, and after that there was no way Ethan wasn't going to buy this new toy. Now back to our Provincetown Jaegers. Ethan's new camera cut through the setting sun, focused on the birds, and once back at our hotel room, we were able to confirm we had seen long-tailed Jaegers. Bird number 643 for the year. Next week, our update will be coming to you from California, where we hope to find many of the treasure trove of birds waiting there. Unfortunately, this means we will be missing Maine Audubon's annual fall pelagic trip out of Bar Harbor. Always one of the highlights of birding in the Northeast, this trip gets attendees out into the Gulf of Maine on a high-speed, luxurious catamaran. In past years, we've seen both Great and South Polar skuas, thousands of shearwaters and storm petrels, northern gannets, Atlantic puffins, razorbills, common murres, five different whale species, porpoises and dolphins, gray seals, and schools of tuna. 
Ironic how a big year takes away from one of our favorite birding experiences, but we need the California birds. And as with everything else in our big year, there is a strategy to why we are going to California at this time and sacrificing a prime pelagic opportunity in Maine. Thanks for watching this weekly recap of Ethan and Ingrid's 2024 big year. Remember to visit our blog at bigyearbirding.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button. And if you want more of this silliness, we also have a Facebook and Instagram page. Happy birding!